So first, let me show you. Um, this is a very sped up video of me cleaning up my letters. I first lettered this with the Tombow dual brush, the brush tip, and then as you can see, I wanted to make sure I don't have any uh, anywhere that might not be shown. So if there's any really thin lines, I want to thicken them a little bit. You can see up here it's really bright. I couldn't get this photo any brighter otherwise there would have been a lot of white spots in my words right here and I don't want that. Down here this is still really dark so it's okay that this isn't perfectly white because this is still so much darker that it's going to be okay when I um, trace the bitmap. So let's watch this. So here I click on path trace bitmap. I'm going to play around with the threshold. So the threshold, let me pause for a second, the default threshold right here is 0.45 and so I always just try with that first. That's kind of in the middle and when I tried it, I zoom in here and you can see that there's a lot of little white spots and that's going to be really hard to edit, so I don't want that. I delete that. I'm going to increase the threshold so that it'll pick up more dark. So I'm going to try 0.7. Click OK, bring it over. And now, as I'm looking at it, I can see there's no more of the little white spots. So with the threshold, you really have to um, try and see the different options that you have and you can see that it picked up some of the darkness around the edges because I didn't have a perfectly white photo but those are really easy I just um, select all of those I'm gonna delete any of those that uh, were causing that are not part of my design so see the little nodes that's what we'll call them I'm gonna delete any nodes that should not be in my design. I don't want this E right here to be connected to my pie. I need them to be separate because I can't make them two different colors if it's all one piece. Because my E was touching my the circle of my pie when I drew it, um, that, that's what happened. I knew as I drew the circle, that's what was going to happen, and I was uh, frustrated that I did that because I know that anything that needs to be a different color, I need to keep it separate. So um, I'm going to show you how to deal with that. There is a way that you can solve that. So I'm going to click the node, the two nodes. See, these are the two nodes that I'm selecting. These ones I want to separate, right? I don't want them to be connected anymore. This is the end of my E, and this is the start of my pi. So I'm going to separate those. So select them, go to, on this top row, this is all your node controls, these are awesome. This one right here is the delete segment between two non-end point nodes. That's what I did, I clicked that, and now there's just no segment, it's still black right here but there's no red line because these are no longer connected so we'll continue there's the other two on the other side those two I'm gonna do the same thing and now you can see that they're totally separate but now I need to connect these two so that I can get a red line in between here so I click this other button up here the join nodes within the segment we are the same on the other side so now you can see I can move that little curve. Now my E is separate from my pie. Okay, and then I always save this two ways. So first I'll save it as an Inkscape file, so an SVG. That's basically like the vector. You can always change a vector and edit a vector. So I'm changing it. 
I'm saving it as a SVG first, and then I want to save it as a PNG, and I use the export PNG, and make sure that you export the whole page, not just the selection. And I'm choosing where I'm going to save it, saving it as a PNG. And then I realize that the pixels are only at 33. I want to make sure that at least 90 so that my width will still be 2000 by 2000 pixels. So I'm going to export that. So now I have my PNG. I'm going to um, import that PNG that I just saved. So there it is. Now I'm going to trace the bitmap of this. I'm going to start just with 0.4 because that's a good medium range. So I'm going to pull it off and see if that is better than my the first one. And it looks like it is a lot better. There's still some sharp edges, but it's a lot smoother than the vector that I than I did with my plain picture. We're going to go through and edit these nodes, take some out to make sure that we have a crisp A. So the first thing that you need to make sure, see how when I click on this, there's these little lines that come off. So this button up here is called uh, the Bezier curves. So I click on it. I just clicked off and it made them go away. You want to click on it so that whatever nodes are selected are going to have these Bezier curves. That's what they call them. I think I'm saying it the right way. I don't know. Um, we can also call them anchor points because we can pull these to make to anchor the line differently according to the node. So that's the first thing that you're going to want to make sure you have clicked on. These, this little button right here, the Bezier curves, you want that on so that you can be playing with those. Okay, so now we're going to go in, see how we can move the anchor, the line, with that little circle. So I'm also going to show you there's a few different types of nodes. You'll see right here in this area, there's four different types of nodes that you can have. When the computer makes your vector, it just chooses whatever uh, nodes fit better for whatever curve that it thinks there should be from your picture. But that's why we need to go in and we need to actually choose which one we want. So this first one is a corner node, meaning you can put it on a corner. So the lines coming from it can be straight. So I click on that and you can see when I move one corner, it's not going to move the other side. The next one is a smooth, which means it will move the other side. The next one is a symmetrical, so you can see as I'm pulling out my anchor points, the other side pulls out as well. So it's symmetrical, you can move it, they both move at the same time. Okay, and then the last one is the round node. And the round node is nice on in round edges, so um, you can see when you move it, it's a curve. No matter what, it's always going to be a curve. So here we go. Now I'm going to show you how I will do this A. One thing you want to make sure to get rid of a lot of the nodes. So I'm just going through, there's a little bunch of nodes right there. I'm going to get rid of these. I want that node. You want um, in areas where there's a corner or a gentle curve, you only want one node in that corner. And also on the edge like this, you want to have like one 
on the edge and then maybe like one on the bottom. Sometimes I make more if it looks okay. And like down here, you see that I just have this one right here. You don't want a bunch all around it, like right here as well. I'm deleting all of those nodes because I don't want that many. They make really weird sharp angles and points. So I've just got my one right here, one right here, one right here. This is kind of a curve, so I'm adding another one here. I only want these two. See that? I didn't want one right there because I can move the anchor points. So I'm moving the anchor points so that it's more smooth. I didn't want a really sharp point right here, so I changed it to the second node right here. And then it just, I can still make it kind of a square, but it's a rounded square. Okay, I'm deleting these ones. I just don't want that many. Once again, right here, you just want one down here in this little corner. Okay, so with the nodes, my most common node that I use is the smooth or the symmetric. With the smooth, it's really easy to be able to move the anchor. So see like with this one, I'm moving the anchor. You can change I lessen that curve right there. So that it's not a sharp corner. It's more, it's a smoother corner. You can pick up the node and move it. And on this one, I'm going to, I changed it to a round because I wanted it to have that smoother curve. Okay. It still looks like it's pretty sharp right here. So I'm going to figure out what's happening, what I need to do. So I'm bringing out that anchor point and it adds more of a curve right there. And you want to make sure that your width and that did not work. <laughs> so I control C, edit undo. You want to make sure that your width is the same throughout your letter. So that is the most important thing. Make sure that you keep the same width. So see how it's kind of bumpy around here. I'm going to change all of that. I made this one a round note as well. And I still feel like that one is a little too sharp for what I'm looking for. And there we go. I made it more round so it kind of fits the outer edge. This one I made round as well. And this one I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm bringing out the corner and then with this one, I changed it. There we go. So see how sometimes when you Oh, another little trick. If you control click on your node, it will change it. It'll go through these different nodes. So if I control click, it'll go to the next one, to the next one, to the next one, and just keep rotating through. So sometimes I can get away with just going around and control click on each of my nodes, and that will solve the problem sometimes. That's all I need to do. Sometimes I have to do, uh, like change the anchor points to make it smoother. I don't like how this is bowing out right here. So I'm going to figure out how to change that. Bringing it in just a little bit. And that changed it right there. That's a much better. <laughs> 